Melania Trump, Obama's and Clinton's to attend funeral of Barbara Bush. Some 1,500 guests are expected to attend the largest Episcopal church in the U.S. on Saturday, for the private funeral of Barbara Bush, the wife of the 41st President, George H. W. Bush, and mother of the 43rd, George W. Bush, died on Tuesday at her Houston home. She was 92. Barbara Bush obituary read more First Lady Melania Trump, former President Bill Clinton, former Secretary of State and 2016 presidential candidate Hillary Clinton and former President Barack Obama and his wife Michelle are among those expected to attend the service at St. Martin's Episcopal Church in Houston. President Donald Trump, a fierce critic of the Bush family during the 2016 election, will not attend. In a statement released on Friday, the family said Barbara Bush had selected her son Jeb Bush, the former Florida governor who ran against Trump for the Republican nomination, to deliver a eulogy. Also speaking will be her longtime friend Susan Baker, wife of former Secretary of State James Baker, and historian John Meacham, who wrote a biography of her husband, George H. W. Bush. Burial will be at the Bush Library at Texas A&M University, about 100 miles northwest of the city. The burial site is in a gated plot surrounded by trees and near a creek where Barbara Bush's daughter, Robin, is buried. She died of leukemia in 1953, aged three. Only one other woman has been married to one president and the mother of another. That was Abigail Adams, wife of the second president, John Adams, and mother of the sixth, John Quincy Adams. We have a small favor to ask. More people are reading The Guardian than ever but advertising revenues across the media are falling fast, and unlike many news organizations, we haven't put up a paywall we want to keep our journalism as open as we can, so you can see why we need to ask for your help. The Guardian's independent, investigative journalism takes a lot of time, money and hard work to produce, but we do it because we believe our perspective matters because it might well be your perspective, too. I appreciate there not being a paywall, it is more democratic for the media to be available for all and not a commodity to be purchased by a few. I'm happy to make a contribution so others with less means still have access to information. Thomasini, Sweden, if everyone who reads our reporting, who likes it, helps find it, our future would be much more secure.